they're living paycheck to paycheck, then why don't you put it into effect right now? Why don't you do something and prosecute them? Because she doesn't care. She only cares if you vote for her, and she'll never do it when if you do. Jessica Tarloff. Well, she has done it. So since when? she announced this antitrust enforcement, she never once said price fixing. She never said price control. Price gouging. She, gouging. That is... That is not the same thing as saying, I'm going to implement price controls. Kroger dropped their she prices. Said, Walmart dropped their prices. It was effective in doing it. Really? And the economy is dramatically better under the Biden-Harris administration. We now have a soft landing coming. We were able to get a 50 basis point cut because of it. We have Dow 42K. And I get it. The retail politicking. <laughs> What's going on, family? Them beautiful patriots, my brothers and sisters. Engineer, could y'all play that song? Could somebody please put on that song for us? Where's our where's our, our song get? Uh, where, where is it? Editing team. Could y'all edit that out? <laughs> Editing team, edit that out for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man, what's going on, y'all? I hope everybody is having an amazing week, man. You know, happy Tuesday. It's almost Friday, you know. We want our tax dollars back, man. Shout out to them hardworking patriots around the world, man. We want our tax dollars back. I ain't lying to you, but y'all check on your people, man. Call them, text them, give them a hug for me. I'm telling y'all, man, we live in some dark times. Prayers for Trump in the comments. We are not against a candidate. We are against a machine. They don't have a plan, an opportunity economy. Unbelievable. I grew up in the middle class. Everybody cut their lawn. But prayers for Trump, man. We don't know what to expect next. We just got more details on the second assassination attempt. It's just getting crazy, man. So prayers for that fellow, his family, the team, the campaign. Prayers to you guys and your family. Because again, we do not know what to expect next. We are 40, 40 some days out, man. 40 days out. What is it, 42? Unbelievable. You know? And it's just an absolute disgrace what they've allowed to happen, man. You know? It's ridiculous. This has been a circus, a sh show. Unbelievable, man. And this woman can't get out of a, a, a sentence, can't go off script. Word salads, word spaghetti. She repeats the same thing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, on the weekends, on Sunday. She repeats the exact same thing. You know, they had to give her a break today. You know, breathe, Kamala, breathe. Because tomorrow you got to repeat. You're going to have to repeat it. You're going to have to repeat your economic plan. You know, and you can, you know, we again, at the, you see that top sentence? Opportunity. <laughs> Unbelievable, y'all. But uh, as I scroll through this, look at, look at the Jessica comments. You just can't make this up. We already know what we're getting ourselves into. Please remove Jessica from the show. She lies so much. I can't stand listening to her. Oh my gosh, Jessica. She is so wired all the time. Someone says, I'd rather have Harold than Jessica. <laughs> I'd rather have Brother Harold than Jessica. Oh boy. Please get rid of Jessica ASAP. She is delusional. Someone says, I cringe when I see Jess and Jessica's uh, present on the show. Please get rid of Jessica. I always skip past Jessica, someone says. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, Trump reveals how he will improve the economy and um, had an amazing talk in um, Savannah, Georgia today. Uh, we just covered that if you guys missed that video. Um, amazing announcements, and I love that... Uh, that one he said about his uh, first assassination attempt, you know, just thanking the Lord, you know, prayers for Trump, you guys. Again, 
They don't want them here. I hate to break it to y'all. Y'all know I keep it real with y'all, though, man. And a lot of y'all know we are not against a candidate. We are against a corrupt machine, a corrupt system. And they don't want them here. And I told you, after that RFK Jr. endorsement, it's... it's <laughs> It, that 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 blew that blew the thermometer right there. It's hot. It is hot, man. You know, it is gonna be hot, especially as we close into November. So prayers for October, y'all. Prayers for October. Can we just make it past October? You know. Well, let's go and see what's, what's popping, man. Let me stop talking and stop japping and yapping. Again, hope y'all are having an amazing week. I love y'all, man. You know, thank y'all for all the love and support, the amazing emails. There's so many of y'all that I have to respond back to and uh, email back tonight. And uh, my DMs are flooded. It's flooded everywhere. Again, it's no editing, no, no management team. It's just me, myself, and I that does all the hard work. So thank y'all for all the love and support, man. We are rocking and rolling. And it has to be too big to rig. I believe it's going to be a landslide that we the people aren't stupid and that we see what's going on, you know, because it's a lot of brainwashing and lies still being spread. Fake news, you know, the mainstream media, they're still pushing this project 2025, all this crap that has been debunked. You know, they bought it up in the debate. I mean, it's just crap. And now they want another debate. Because they see those post-debate polls. Those post-debate polls. Whew. You know, Trump is clearing the board. And on the biggest issue right now, the economy. The border. He's clearing the board, y'all. Well, let's jump in. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Let's go and jump in. See what's going in. They got a new studio and everything, too. Hello, everybody. I'm Jesse Waters, along with Judge Jeanine Pirro, Jessica Tarlov, Dana Perino, and Greg Gutfeld. It's 5 o'clock in New York City, and this is The Five. <music> Donald Trump scorching Kamala Harris on the campaign trail while working his charm directly with the voters. The former president making one of his classic retail pit stops at a grocery store in Pennsylvania, buying a big old bag of popcorn and helping out a mom fight the scourge of Kamala inflation by slipping her a hundred. Trump then lighting up VP Harris on the economy while out in Georgia, watch. We will have, ready, no tax on tips. No tax on overtime. The word tariff properly used is a beautiful word. Beautiful word. Under my leadership, we are going to take other countries' jobs. <laughs> By contrast, listen to the deal. Kamala Harris. Have you heard of her? This woman... We had a good time covering this, you guys. Make sure if you missed our last video, we covered this whole... this whole event, man. ...is grossly incompetent. Grossly incompetent. She's called the tax queen. They love her in other countries because she forces everybody out of our country into their hands. Trump also proving to be one heck of a showman during his speech, riffing on everything from Kamala's McLies to Oprah. She lied about McDonald's. She said, I was a worker in McDonald's. <laughs> and I stood over the French fries. I'm going to a McDonald's over the next two weeks. And I'm going to stand over the French fries because I want to see what her job really wasn't like. I knew Oprah very well. She loved me before politics. She was down at Mar-a-Lago. Donald, this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. She loved the key lime pie. I love that key lime pie. Do you think Biden lies awake at night thinking how are we going to get Europe to pay? No, he goes to sleep. Here's a guy can sleep on the beach. How do you sleep on the beach when you have cameras on? I love that chart. I sleep with that chart. <laughs> Okay. Uh, feeling good, the president, Dana, but, but also really hitting hard the economic message. So I, it's interesting that he chose to go to Georgia. I think that was the right thing to do. And I think it was the right thing to do to really focus on the economy, especially because that's what Kamala Harris is going to do tomorrow. So he did that. And he's in a state that is run by a Republican governor who is uber competent. And the state of Georgia is doing great. The economy is humming along. And he had an opportunity to say this is the kind of economy people want. 
And you get more of that with the conservative than you do with the liberal. So your dollar goes further. Um, he made some bad headlines in August, right? Remember, he went after the very popular governor, Governor mm -hmm. Kemp. Then they had to make up. And Kemp wasn't at the event today. That's fine. But Kemp's operation in the state is really, really good. So then Kemp has said, I'm on board. So talking about the economy there is great. That's what people want to see. I also think that the retail politicking uh, at the grocery store, it's, it's just great to see a different way to look at, at a candidate, somebody who is out there with the people. I'm sure that that woman would have loved to keep that $100 bill. Uh, that's a very special thing in her life. But uh, he is in a position where he can help people with groceries. But his message was, I'm going to be here to do that for all of you. And I thought that as a visual was great. And that $100 bill was in no way a bribe, Judge Janine. That was just from the bottom of his heart, charity. That's Donald Trump being Donald <laughs> Trump. I mean, you know, he does that all the time. After dinner, he'll go into a kitchen and say hello to everybody in the kitchen, and they're all stunned. And he's taking pictures and, yep. you know, giving them. I love giving them, she said he does that. a lot of things that I love people she said don't that. realize he does. Um, and they and, don't want to show it. They don't. They don't want it out, man. They don't want. They really. They. I'm telling you, it, it's hurting them right now. They are screaming to the top of their lungs that this stuff is out. That these videos of Trump are out. They don't want it out, y'all. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to see that he's a people's president. That he puts we the people first. That he actually has a heart and a soul. They don't want you to see it. And like he said, they used to love him, man. Everybody used to love him. Oprah was down there at Mar-a-Lago Mar Mar eating key lime pie. And now she's, <laughs> you can see it in her body language, just in pain. Doing that interview with Kamala, that town hall. As she repeats and does another word salad with millions of viewers. Trying to figure out, is, what is this lady, what, who is voting for this lady? Another middle class story, another dreams and aspiration story. And he is a showman, there's no question, but there is also another side of him that a lot of people haven't seen. But what I loved about today was I loved listening to Donald Trump talk about how he was going to improve the economy and what he was going to do to make sure that he brought jobs back to the United States. He talked about um, reducing corporate taxes on companies from 21% to 15% if they make their goods in the United, United States. States. I mean, yeah. he's consistent with his theme of, you know, making America wealthy, safe, strong, and great again. He talked about uh, research and development tax credits uh, when it, on U.S.-based manufacturing. And then he talked about special zones, federal land with low regulation, where they were going to incentivize companies to come in and make American products. And then he actually talked about a global ambassador to go out to the world and say, bring those jobs back to the United States. Bring it all back here. Let's do it in America. And I love when he said 100% tariff on cars made in Mexico. If you want someone who is going to do what a Democrat president has not been able to do, and that is improve the economy, it was only when Trump was in office that we had the consumer confidence and the animal instincts that go with the consumer confidence. Kamala Harris can't even answer whether we're better off now than we were four years yeah. ago. And all this nonsense of, oh, I'm going to do price fixing. Like, you know what? You know why that infuriates me? Because if she's concerned about the American person like Donald Trump is at the bodega or with the construction workers at 6 a.m. before the trial or um, wh wherever he went in Chick-fil-A, you know, if she were concerned, she would start working on it right now. If the mm -hmm. big corporations, Kamala, are making it impossible for Americans to pay for food that they have to pay with credit cards and they're living paycheck to paycheck, then why don't you put it into effect right now? Why don't you do something and prosecute them? Because she doesn't care. She only cares if you vote for her, and she'll never do it when if you do. Jessica Tarloff. Well, she has done it. So since well she announced this antitrust enforcement, she never once said price fixing. She never said price control. Price gouging. She, that is... <laughs> 
That is not the same thing as saying I'm going to implement Jay. price controls. Kroger dropped their she prices. Said, Walmart dropped their prices. It was effective in doing it. Really? And the economy is dramatically better under the Biden and Harris administration. We now have a soft <laughs> landing coming. We were able to get a 50 basis point cut because of it. Bro, get her off the set. I, 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 I don't know, man. They, we, we might have to do it with her too, y'all. I hate, I hate to do it mid-show, but we might have to do it, family. Ma'am, blow in this walkie-talkie. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. I, th I think this is worse than, than box wine Nancy. This is worse than Big Mike. This is worse than Hillary. Blow in this walkie-talkie. Hands behind your back. And don't worry, we put we we put your your we put your termination letter in, in, in documentation. Yeah, you're out of here. Unbelievable. What world is she living in? What America is she living in? But we have Dow forty two k, and I get it. The retail politicking. I can see the charm of it. I, I can see how exciting it would be oh. if Donald Trump walked into the kitchen that I was working at or the bodega that I was working at. But the American people are seeing through it and it's being reflected in who they think is best <laughs> suited to handle the economy. Donald Trump's lead on the economy is getting slashed in every survey that comes out. In the NBC poll, he's only up nine. He used to be up 13 points higher than that. In the CBS poll, up six, the Fox poll. Up <laughs> Look at everybody at the table. They're like, what is she talking about? Where, where is she getting these numbers from? Because the, the polling we've seen, he's up 20, 30 points. Sorry, Jessica. Meanwhile, the, the candidates you're shooting for probably can't, she can't even spell economy. Uh, e C M G and uh, the middle class of, you know, then we're gonna have an uh, opportunity in the dreams of the American people and what can be significance of the passage of time. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that shit. Five tied in the FT poll and morning consult. We know that his policies will be more inflationary. He's gonna add something like 5.8 trillion to the deficit. Kamala only 1.2 trillion. And when he continues to say, well, I'm going to I'm going to do these things. I'm going to have the cost of energy. No plan to do it. The tariffs, that is not good economic policy. This is going to add a 20 percent tariff to some goods. That's not just something that you throw around. That's something that could be devastating for the American economy. And so you can rail about her. You can call her incompetent. And frankly, it's been shown as well that people do not take well to him standing up there and continually insulting her in that in that tone. But people are hearing what she's saying about her plans, the progress we've made and what she's going to continue to do. And that's why his edge is being decreased every time a new survey comes out. Okay. It is funny to hear Jessica talk about how Trump's plans are going to bring so much inflation where he had no inflation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they, they remember the Harris campaign is based on just getting these people to vote. They don't have to offer any specifics. The specific, the act itself is the vote. Tariffs, by the way, they aren't a blanket tool. You use it on, on co companies in countries where the government helps subsidize the company. So you can match that. You don't do it across the board. You, spick, you pick specific companies where we compete with that company. And if they are subsidized, you go for them. The retail politicking, Trump one-on-one, -on -one, super comfortable, charming, and real. Harris is a walking bag of social anxiety. It's like comparing a Navy SEAL to a real SEAL. And I do think Trump needs to do more of this stuff. He's unmatched. He can charm Joy Behar off a food truck. I like, you know, <laughs> you saw him. Compare my show to when, when Kamala was on and it, uh, on Oprah. It was a disaster. I think that modern Democrats, and I'm not including people like even, you know, Obama or uh, Bill Clinton, modern Democrats have a real problem acting like a human being. And it's because they can only see people in groups, boxes of identity. So you're going to change your accent for one group or talk about hot sauce with another group because you think all black people are the same or all Hispanic people are the same. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Y'all know Hillary. Hands behind your back, Hillary. 
she got her that, that she got a thing of hot sauce in her purse. Unbelievable. You go put that hot sauce in the cabinet, Hillary. She thought that walking around with hot sauce uh, around in 2016 was her way to the White House. Unbelievable. And Bill in the back shaking his head. And Obama and Big Mike coming in there, in there smiling. Unbelievable. But in reality, a black man could have more in common with a white man than a fellow black man because there are fewer differences between groups than people within groups. And race baiters don't want you to know that. But data shows you that. That's why you have clumsy Democrats trying to mimic behavior than just be normal. Liz Warren trying to open a beer. Tim Waltz fiddling with an air filter. Kamala suddenly embracing guns and saying the worst thing you would ever say for a gun owner, which is I'll just shoot somebody when they come in. Lawful gun owners don't say that. But that's what happens when you no longer see individuals. But groups, you treat them I don't know, as like aliens from another planet. But when you focus on the economy, Kamala's in trouble. She can't talk about an economy. It's like, imagine if the Knack could never play My Sharona or Leonard <laughs> Skinner could never play Freebird or Kaja Gugu, Dana, never playing Too Shy. Kaja who? Kaja Gugu. Gugu. That's James Carville with his one big hit, It's the Economy Stupid. Mm -hmm. He can't play it because when you say that, the people here it are not going to vote for Trump. They're going to look back and go, yeah, I, all you have to ask, were, were you better off 2016 to 2020? Of course you were. So instead, he's stuck playing covers on MSNBC. Also, and I'll finish with this, you know, Trump should definitely talk about manufacturing because it is tied to the economy. You have to, it's the hardest part about capitalism is making something at volume consistently so it's affordable. Mm. You know, that's why making factories is the biggest deal. That's why Trump talks about it and Musk talks about it. What does Kamala know about manufacturing? What could she say? The oh, I mean, maybe, you know, uh, taxpayer funded sex changes. Mm -hmm. She puts the man in manufacturing. That's about it. What about all the new plants that have been created under the Biden Harris administration like for the Chips and Science Act? What about all, all the, the ones the, that are closing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is closing? it, 700,000 new manufacturing jobs, even with the when downward come? revision? Wait a minute. Didn't Obama say he didn't have a magic wand? He couldn't bring them back? Didn't, yeah. Are you actually, oh, so you think that yeah, I, Trump is Yeah, the, get you off. Get get off, Jessica. Just just, just get off. I'm going to win because you're bringing up something Obama said? That, because, because Trump did bring him back when Obama said you couldn't. All right. Nice try, Jessica. Nice try. Try it again next segment. <laughs> Click here to subscribe. Bro, they hey, they be handling Jessica for real, man. For real, bro. Get her off the show. Man, that table be handling her so well. But hey, you guys. Um, tomorrow is going to be another big day for her, huh? Hope y'all are ready. We're going to be there to cover it. Don't worry. We're going to be there. Hopefully, we don't get another word salad. You know, one of the biggest issues, the economy. And uh, her economic plan. She's going to be speaking about it tomorrow. They say so, hey. Fingers crossed. That you don't get another one. But hey, it's coming. Another one. A big plate of spaghetti. I love y'all. God bless y'all and your families. And I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.